Live from the Fiserv Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is News 3 Now special coverage of the Republican National Convention. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we are coming to you live from Milwaukee. Day one of the Republican National Convention. I'm Eric Franke, joined by my longtime colleague, Charlotte Deleste, joining us for the week. And Charlotte, this convention already making some headlines. Oh my gosh, you are not kidding, Eric. Earlier today, former President Donald Trump announced he is choosing Ohio Senator J.D. Vance to be his running mate. And we do have team coverage to, throughout the convention today, covering all of the big Big stories coming out of this week's convention. But before we get to all of that, Southern Wisconsin could once again be in the path of some pretty severe weather. And for more on that, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington back in Madison. Tell us what's happening, Alex. Eric, Charlotte, Southern Wisconsin, the severe thunderstorm warnings have begun. Southern Grant County until 6.45 p.m. Winds potentially to 60 miles per hour. This is for areas just east of Holy Cross in northeastern Iowa, just about ready to move east uh, across the Mississippi River into the southern part of Grant County, Jamestown and Prairie Corners here in approximately 15 minutes. Want to go a little bit further to the west because there also is damaging winds using our wind tracker tool west of southern Grant County where we're potentially looking at winds of upwards of 70 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour. That may clip the very far southern part of Grant County here within the next uh, half hour to hour. So heads up, southern Grant County have two severe thunderstorms that are moving in your direction. Don't want to miss out on Lafayette County. Radar indication of hail to one inch in diameter. We can you quick uh, put a track on that. Downtown Darlington at 612. Zooming in just a little bit here, looking at our hail product. Could be looking at hail just south of Belmont to one inch in diameter. That's quarter sized tail that will be moving east along 81 towards Darlington. The rest of southern Wisconsin, we have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 11 p.m. for the southwestern, all oh, half or so of the viewing area. We're keeping an eye on to the north and towards the west to see if we get any additional development. If we don't get any additional development to the north and west of Madison here over the next couple of hours, this focus of thunderstorms may be across the far southern tier counties of southern Wisconsin, which would be good news for areas north of Madison, but not good news for the far southern part of the state of southern Wisconsin. If you're using Future Track, Future Track is still filling things in across much of southern Wisconsin, so we're going to keep a close eye on the radar trends here over the course of the next couple of hours as we track this, this impactful line of severe weather. Alex, thank you. So for several months now, speculation pretty much ran wild who former President Donald Trump would pick to run alongside him in the 2024 election. And today, we all got that answer. Yeah, Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio was the pick. Former President Donald Trump making that announcement today on social media. So who is J.D. Vance? Well, he served in the United States Marine Corps before studying political science and philosophy at The Ohio State University he is also a graduate of Yale Law School. Vance has been a senator just since 2023. Recent addition to the United States Senate. He is also the best selling author of Hillbilly Elegy, which later was turned to a film starring Glenn Close and Amy Adams. We go to our political reporter, Will Keneally, now with the very latest on former President Trump's pick for vice president and reaction from a former Wisconsin politician. Will? Eric and Charlotte, yeah, we're, so we're here in the middle of the Fiserv Forum. Uh, as you can see, the crowd's picking back up a little bit as we wait for the evening speaker schedule. But as you mentioned, it was in this location that just a few hours ago, Republican delegates from across the country came together to approve J.D. Vance to be the VP pick for the November ballot. We spoke with former Governor Scott Walker about how this pick will impact the election and Wisconsin here. I say in the Midwest, we're doers, not just talkers, we're doers. He did the things he said he was going to do. Uh, he uh, pulled back in regulations, cut taxes for everyday working Americans and small business owners. That, that's former Governor Scott Walker speaking to that Trump Vance ticket now. Now we're expecting some Wisconsinites to speak during the speaker schedule uh, this evening, and we'll continue to keep you updated here from the Five Serve Forum uh, throughout the evening. But for now, reporting inside the bowl of the Five Serve Forum, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Will, thank 
you. Now, President Biden released a statement on Trump picking J.D. Vance, saying in part, quote, this is someone who supports banning abortion nationwide while criticizing exceptions for rape and incest survivors, railed against the Affordable Care Act, including its protections for millions with pre-existing conditions, and has admitted he would not have certified the free and fair election in 2020. So the convention is coming off the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump over the weekend. And right now, the uh, head of Homeland Security uh, is facing questions, as you might imagine. Not a surprise about how the Secret Service allowed a gunman to get within shooting distance of the former president. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, whose department oversees the United States Secret Service, fielded questions today about how the gunman was able to get that close before a Secret Service counter sniper shot and killed him. An independent review will be conducted to understand the facts regarding protection of the event and make findings and recommendations accordingly. The FBI has identified the shooter as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Law enforcement sources say the rifle found on the shooter's body was legally purchased by and registered to his father. Investigators say they found rudimentary bomb materials at his home and in his vehicle and a suspected triggering mechanism in his possession. Investigators say they have not yet uncovered a motive. So far, they do believe that he acted alone. Now, in an exclusive interview with News 3 Now, we are hearing from a Texas elected official who was at the Pennsylvania Pennsylvania rally on Saturday. Sid Miller was just about 30 feet from former President Trump during the attempted assassination. Sid Miller uh, says he hopes that the country comes together and that both candidates focus on the issues rather than personal attacks. Meanwhile, getting into the convention uh, itself, well, it has been time consuming <laughs> for anyone. Of course, the security here, extremely tight. It really is. So let's head over to Panther Arena where Susan Simon and Brady Mallory are standing by. Good evening. Hi, Eric and Charlotte. We are coming up on hour 12 of coverage for our crews here in Milwaukee, and the evening session is just about to begin. But as you were just mentioning, one of the biggest stories here has been security. Yeah, it's top of mind, especially after Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Meryl Hubbard is leading our team coverage tonight on this topic, and you've been talking with some people here. And How are they feeling about the precautions that are here at the RNC? Yeah, Brady and Susan, I've been in talks about delegates from all over the country today and they say that they feel really safe here at the RNC and that's despite there being uh, an allowance for guns near the perimeter. Per Wisconsin state law, open and concealed carries are allowed within a couple blocks of the event center. The Secret Service does not allow weapons within the inner perimeter of the venue. So you can see here on this map that guns are not allowed within the red zone. Delegates travel between these perimeters throughout the day, and after talking to them, they say that allowing of firearms aligns with their values for their party. I'm supportive. You know, obviously, Republicans are a big, you know, Second Amendment kind of a group, so I, I'm fine with that. I think it's great. Um, I think it promotes those points that we, as Republicans, support. So After meeting many of the Utah delegates, I've heard nothing from excitement, but excitement from them now that they're here. And that's despite all the long lines and the waiting, they just say it's more than worth it. So it's been really cool. And everybody seems to be taking it in stride. It's understandable and everyone's just rolling with yeah, it, which yeah. is good to see. Certainly. Allow Meryl, yourself thank extra time. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl, thank you very thank you. much. And uh, at the convention at this week, as Meryl was just mentioning, guns are allowed in the outer perimeter. Yes, uh, News 3 Now's Chris Stanford takes a look at what it takes to balance the law and safety concerns. Having guns in the equation is only going to make this so much more of a risk for everyone in Milwaukee. Nick Matajewski is the director of policy and programs for the Wisconsin anti-violence effort. He says the organization is worried about political tensions boiling over into violence. We think that it's incredibly dangerous that guns would be allowed within the security perimeter um, at the RNC. We're, you know, very much concerned that this could be a situation where the city sees a lot of unrest. The Secret Service set the perimeter weeks ago. The shared goal is for everyone to be able to express their views lawfully while ensuring a secure environment for delegates, convention attendees, and the general public. We are also intentional about creating a plan that minimizes disruptions to the community as much as possible. WAVE would want the city 
to have the authority to ban guns in protest zones. For this moment, in this time, the city, the city should be able to pass an ordinance that declares the RNC a gun-free zone. Wisconsin, of course, is an open carry state, and we'll continue to be talking more about that as the week continues. Our crews know firsthand how long the security lines around here got today. Yeah, Ellie LaLiberté joins us and continues our team coverage here at the Panther Arena at the RNC uh, to tell us what you've been seeing here. Yeah, I mean, it's the conversation we've been having all day today is what the security looks like, how long those lines have been. You know, it took our crew here about two hours to get in today, and, you know, we're not the only one's feeling that I talked with some vendors today delegates about what it would look like for them to get in just to get into the Republican National Convention for us it was 45 minutes and I was here takes time we are told that expect to take two and a half to three hours everywhere to get into the soft or the hard perimeter you're being checked questions of security circle the event after Saturday's assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump after what happened on Saturday, it was kind of concerning, just because of, obviously, what was the security happening over there. Officials said on Sunday there would be no major changes to event protocol. Despite that, it's clear safety is a top priority. The RNC is one of four top national security events across the country this year. I've been telling my friends the security is ridiculous, but not in a bad way. Lawrence Schneider is an alternate delegate for Wisconsin. Oh, I had no security concerns. He's one of several sharing that sentiment with us. And I've seen every acronym, federal and state, and I even saw the... I saw some armored cars coming from some of the local state um, municipalities and so on. While others were initially concerned. Well, I was kind of worried at first, I'm not going to lie. The long wait lines have certainly reassured. You could tell it's very secure. There's police on every corner. The RNC is expecting 50,000 people to be here this week, so it's pretty packed. And all of those people have to get credentials and go through security to be here. Yeah, it's like a whole other city within a city. Yeah. It really is. Well, you know, security is tight here to keep everyone safe, and it's not just the checkpoints that we had to go through to get our bags checked and whatnot, but traffic is kind of diverted everywhere. We had to take certain routes. Brady and I jumped out. out of the car yeah. and walked in order to get here to the Panther Arena because all of downtown is reorganized uh -huh. for, to keep everybody safe, but it's good that people are feeling that way. It's good to hear. Ellie, thank you. All right, let's toss it back to Charlotte and Eric. Brady and Susan, thank you all so much. News 3 Now will be here in Milwaukee all week long with extensive, extensive coverage of the Republican National Convention. We will have special guests and much more interviews over the next four days. Also on channel3000.com, we're going to be streaming some of the biggest stories from each day of the convention. And that stream begins at 8.30 p.m. tonight heading into CBS national coverage of the event. Well, still to come on News 3 Now at 6, Wisconsin's coastal communities get a boost in funding. And still ahead, our coverage continues live from Milwaukee, day one of the Republican National Convention. Stay with us. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, brought to you by Ruger Law Offices. We've successfully represented people injured in truck accidents for more than 35 years. We know what it takes to get the results you deserve. Groover Law Offices. One call, that's all. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC turn your design dreams into reality. With customized solutions and quality products, our passion and expertise will help turn your room into a dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Nobody wants to put a new roof over their head. It's too expensive. And if they can extend the life of that roof and get five more years or 10 more years, it's a no-brainer. What RoofMax does is it helps people in that they don't have to spend that $15,000, $20,000 on a new roof. They can spend pennies on the dollar. The RoofMax product was a small percentage of cost of replacing a roof. This is a great financial decision for us as a community. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. 
We agreed we need a new bathtub and shower, but I think he's procrastinating. Just call 1-800-HANSENS, installed in as little as one day with a no-leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest and no payments for one year. Offer ends soon. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. News 3 Now This Morning is live from the Republican National Convention. Tuesday, we'll bring you highlights from day one of the RNC, plus a unique look inside Pfizer Forum's convention stage and full local analysis of Trump's VP pick. Join us Tuesday morning. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back to our coverage of the Republican National Convention here in Milwaukee. Right now, we're going to step back just a little bit from the convention. Yeah, we're going to go back to some local news headlines. For the latest on that, Jalen Banks is standing by live in our News 3 Now studios in Madison. Jalen? Eric and Charlotte, thank you. Governor Evers is announcing $1.3 million in grants to protect and improve Great Lakes resources across Wisconsin's coastal communities. This is through the Wisconsin Department of Administration's Coastal Management Program. 31 grants will be used by local, state, and tribal governments, among others, to expand public access, sustainability, habitat restoration, and address pollution. The Dane County Fair is back at the Alliant Energy Center this week. Festivities are set to begin on Thursday, with gates opening at 8 a.m. and will run until 8 p.m. Admission to the fair on Thursday is free for armed forces personnel, police officers, firefighters, and first responders. Admission is $15 for those 12 and older, $10 for kids between the ages of 6 and 11, and free for anyone 5 and younger. The fair will run through Sunday and will feature plenty of family-friendly activities. For more information, head to this story on channel3000.com. And there's still more ahead on News 3 Now at 6. Coming up, we head back out to Milwaukee for the latest from the Republican National Convention as protesters march near the area. And is more severe weather on its way to southern Wisconsin? Well, Alex is back with a complete look at your first one forecast after the break. If you're interested in installing a solar system this year, listen up. We only have a few available spots remaining in 2024. Scan the QR code on your screen now to save your spot so you can get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy. When you need to relax and recharge your body and mind, retreat to the comfort of stressless furniture at the Century House. Designed to harmonize with the natural movements of your body, it's where true comfort begins and every day should end. Get a $100 instant rebate for every $1,000 spent and $200 off four dining chairs at the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. You may come from a plug family, and I come from a no plug family, but one day our great families will come together in marriage. There's an electrified vehicle for everyone to fall in love with. Get offers on select models at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event. Get special offers on select Lexus ES models. Menard Steel Roofing is the last roof you'll ever need. Steel Roofing offers superior wind, hail, and fire resistance. Plus, you can save on cooling costs. Steel Roofing is available in cut-to-your-length panels for fast installation. Choose from 29 beautiful colors in-store and Menards.com. Stay big on white and bright, white pro-rib steel roofing. 100 square feet is just $79.99 after 11% rebate at Menards. America's number one home improvement retailer for customer satisfaction. Save big money at Menards. Okay, guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now, you can get four lines for just $90. Sorry, just double-checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah. It's a huge deal. You also get four free phones of your choice. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple-checked, and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Get four free phones of your choice with no trade-in needed, plus four lines for $90. If you're interested in installing a solar system this year, listen up. We only have a few available spots remaining in 2024. Scan the QR code on your screen now to save your spot so you can get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy. 
Oh, welcome back to Milwaukee. And just as we're following what goes on inside the convention, we also have crews outside covering the thousands who are in Milwaukee protesting. Let's now go live to News 3 Now's Maddie Heimsch with more on the protest. Hi, Maddie. Yeah, I'm at Red Arrow Park, the gathering place for the march today. It was the start and end point of that route. Now, the march is wrapped up for the day, but this afternoon it brought an estimated 4,000 people to the streets of Milwaukee. Now, that march, uh, the groups that were a part of the march told us they came out for various reasons. Many carried signs that addressed the war in Israel, racial injustices, women's reproductive rights. But as News 3's Kyle Pazorski and I walked alongside them, we spoke with one man who said he wanted to take a different approach to the protests. Check this out. This too shall pass and love is the answer. Having messages and telling the uh, Republicans that everything that they know is wrong, it's not going to move the needle forward in any, in any way. So I put aside all of the really snarky remarks and decided last night on this. He joined, like I said, thousands marching today. The organizers of the coalition to march on the RNC have been planning for this day for over two years now. They even sued the city of Milwaukee in June for not approving their protest route. They argued that this was a violation of their First Amendment rights. The city and the coalition actually only came to a route agreement on Friday after, like I said, two years of planning for today. And today was the big day for the coalition that organized march. But we will continue to cover protests and demonstrations as they pop up throughout the rest of the week here at the RNC. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys reporting live at Red Arrow Park in Milwaukee. I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. All right, Maddie, thank you. We do want to get to weather as well. Of course, it is a developing story there. We could again be looking at some heavy rain and severe storms. For more on that, let's go back to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington with the latest. Alex? Eric, we have quite a few developments uh, with our severe weather situation. A damaging wind event is evolving over far southwestern Wisconsin with considerable threats for destructive winds. This is Grant County until 645 p.m. Damaging bow echo is moving into the southern part of Grant County coming across the Mississippi River. Right now we're getting reports from the National Weather Service in La Crosse of reports of winds of 70 to 80 miles per hour over portions uh, near Dubuque. We also, I want to point out here, folks, that we have a severe thunderstorm warning, also destructive threat here for Lafayette County with winds approaching 70 to 80 miles per hour. This is in anticipation of that line that's moving into southern Grant County as we speak right now, just widening things right out and using our wind tracker tool. The area of where we have really this concentrated area of wind of possibly 70 to 80 miles per hour are south and west of Platteville, west of Hazel Green, near the Dubuque area, and they are going to be moving off very rapidly towards the east at approximately 45 to 50 miles per hour. So communities that are going to be in the path of these destructive winds, uh, Galena at 627 p.m., Cuba City at 628 p.m., Schulzburg at 638 p.m., and Darlington by 648 p.m. Again, repeating, we have reports of winds of 70 to 80 miles miles per hour near Dubuque. This can cause considerable tree and structural damage. I don't want to lose sight as well that we have the potential for hail with a thunderstorm currently over northwestern and north central portions of Lafayette County. This would be between Belmont and Willow Springs between Highway 151 and 23 hail to 1.5 inches in diameter. That's ping pong ball sized hail. That's very destructive hail over the northern portion of Lafayette County. Just a little bit further to the south and west hail to the size of quarters just north of Highway 81 that will be crossing also into Darlington. So my strong recommendation, if you are in Southern Grant County and in Lafayette County right now tuning in, you need to be inside your house seeking shelter, the innermost portion of your house. We don't have a tornado with this storm, but these are destructive winds and also destructive hail that's evolving over portions of Grant and Lafayette counties. The rest of Southern Wisconsin, you may be wondering, well, what's for us? What we're watching areas north and west of Madison is to see if we get any additional development of thunderstorms that would move off towards the south and east and impact other 
other portions of southern Wisconsin. We'll let Future Track run here. I want to do just a quick slowdown of Future Track here to show you what could occur with this. We have the storms right now over southwestern Wisconsin. Future Track is pretty confident bringing those thunderstorms and more developing near the Madison area around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock time frame over towards Janesville and then Elkhorn and then off towards the south and east with the threat then diminishing as we go further into the evening hours and quieting as we head towards the midnight hours. So repeating once again, severe thunderstorm warning for destructive winds of potentially 70 to 80 miles per hour for Grant County and also Lafayette County. You need to be taking shelter immediately. Winds of 70 to 80 miles per hour have been reported near the Dubuque area and are moving in your direction and will be in your neighborhood in the course of the next 30 minutes. We'll be back momentarily. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Your child's confidence stems from learning and seeing clearly. At Shopco Optical, our professional team will help your child start their journey of confidence by providing quality eye care in a warm and comfortable environment. Schedule their back to school exam at shopco.com. Sup? You need some windows? Hi! Oh, you need windows! Yes, you do! Hey folks, you call the experts? Increase your curb appeal and save big this summer with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for five years. And we'll get it done Feldco fast. Free installation ends soon. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Chevy lets you begin every day fully charged. So you can go farther. And so can your money. Tow with confidence. Plus, stay connected with available OnStar technology. For summer adventures, Chevy's got you. Get 1.9% financing on this 2024 Silverado when you finance with GM Financial. Or get 5750 total value when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Right now, we're running our 60-60-60 sale. So when you purchase your new concrete coating, you get a $60 Visa gift card, plus either 60% off installation or 60-month no interest financing. This is one of our best deals of the year. So visit our website or call the number for your new floor today. Welcome to the house spa. We always knew that we wanted to grow and we couldn't find the right location. When this spot appeared, we're like, gosh, if we can get this location secured. We both approached Olivia at Tobacco Credit Union and she walked us through the paperwork and the process in order to get this project started. The best thing about working with Tobacco was they also showed us other available opportunities that could help us actually reduce our loan rate. So they are partners with us and with the help of them, we've been able to create this beautiful space. Everyone's vision needs are unique. At Shopco Optical, our caring team of professionals will work with you to ensure your vision is at its best. Shopco Optical can help you experience every detail, color, and breathtaking sight in clarity. And thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Now we want to remind folks, coming up at 8.30 tonight, we will have a streaming recap of the day's events on Channel3000.com. There we will have the biggest stories of the entire day, including more on Ohio Senator J.D. Vance being selected as former President Trump's running mate. Again, that stream will start at 8.30, Channel3000.com. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. We're going to head it right back to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington, who has the very latest live severe weather coverage. Alex? Thanks, Eric. We have